So for the past 16 months, I've been harboring a big secret. A secret that I've been sworn by contract not to talk about. But then just 10 months ago, that secret got even bigger, even more secretive, and even harder to keep to myself. So what is the secret, you ask? Well, lucky for all of you out there, I'm now finally allowed to reveal it. In March of last year, the Knife Game song went wildly viral, reaching viewers all across the world. Not too much longer after that, I was contacted by a television producer from Germany who said that there was a new competition show called Unschlagbar, which translates into English to unbeatable. So the rules of the show go like this. A contestant claims to have a strange talent or skill that they believe to be the best at. Then the producers of the show search all around the world to try to find two contestants who may be able to beat the original challenger at his or her own challenge. And each episode has six individual challenges. Well, to my great surprise, a German guy named Simon entered his challenge claiming to be the fastest at the knife game song. So the producers asked if I would go to Germany to compete against Simon and try to beat his claim. Now at first I thought all of this was some sort of weird scam, but after receiving a package in the mail containing two practice knives and a plane ticket to Germany, I knew it was legitimate, and so I agreed. So for the next few months, I locked myself in my dark secluded shed and practiced getting faster and faster at the knife game song until finally the day arrived in early September that I would take my 11 hour flight across the Atlantic Ocean to my destination in Germany. When I finally arrived, jet lagged, in the city of Cologne, I realized that I had forgotten that my phone would have no service overseas and also that I had no euros to pay for things with. But through a little luck and the help of some English speaking Germans, I was eventually able to find my hotel. I had one or two days to myself before the big competition, so I was able to roam around the city and take some pretty cool pictures, which you can see more of on my Instagram through the links in the description. Okay, so the main day finally came, and I was picked up from my hotel along with some of the other contestants who would be competing in the other five challenges. They brought us to the studio, and they gave us each our own waiting room, where we would wait until it was our turn to go on set for the challenge. Now I will admit that I was getting a little bit nervous while waiting. I mean, this is the first time that I'd been on television, in another country, on their most popular nationally broadcasted network. And I would be competing in front of a studio audience of several hundred people. I really did not want to lose at my own game and have to go home a shamed and broken man. So they finally started filming the episode. And the first challenger was a Chinese pole dancer who claimed to be able to do the most consecutive spins around a pole, and she was faced against a break dancer who would try to do more spins on his head. I was backstage at this point, so I wasn't able to actually even see this challenge until later. But once it ended, it then came time for the next challenge, the knife game song challenge. My challenge. So they bring out the original challenger named Simon, and then they bring out myself and Miriam, who was the other contestant. So all three of us are out on the set, and now it's up to the audience to actually vote out of which two contestants, out of me or Miriam, actually has to go up and compete against Simon. Of course they all voted for me, seeing as I'm the originator of the Knife Game song. And so after I got chosen, the challenge began. So they brought us up to our Knife Game podium, and we had 30 seconds to try to get as many accurate hits in while also singing the lyrics. And we had to repeat the last line of the song until time actually ran out. Now the network that actually airs the show is called RTL and they have very strict copyright control over the audio and video. So I had to manipulate the footage in these next couple of clips before I was actually able to upload them to YouTube. So again, I apologize for the choppiness of these following clips. I had to record it from an online stream that had very, very poor quality. You can still hear the audio though. Three, two, one. Oh. So while I'm watching Simon's performance, in my head, I am pretty sure I'm going to lose. I mean, this guy is really fast. He got 200 hits in 30 seconds. Whenever I would practice before, even at my fastest, I could only get about 176 hits in. But either way, it was now my turn to go up and see if I could actually beat him. 
Rusty, are you ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one, go! Oh, I have all my fingers. The knife was trapped up top. For Mr. Space is in between, my fingers will come off. And if I hit my fingers, the blood will soon come out. But all the same, I play this game, because that's what it's all about. Oh, chop, 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 I'm picking up the speed. Oh, chop, 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 I'm picking up the speed. Oh, chop, 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 I'm picking up the speed. Oh, chop, 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 I'm picking up the speed. Oh, chop, 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 I'm picking up the speed. Oh, chop, 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 I'm picking up the speed. Oh, chop, 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 I'm picking up the speed. Oh, chop, 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 I'm picking up the speed. Oh, chop, 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 I'm picking up the speed. And wouldn't you know it, a dead tie. 200 to 200. So then of course we had to have a tiebreaker round, but this time it was only a quick 15 second match to see who could get the most hits in. So it turns out I won the tiebreaker and I got to take my seat in the winner's section where all of the six winners of each challenge would be seated. But the show was not over yet. There were still another four challenges that came after mine that I had to sit through and it all took about five hours to film. So there was a sumo wrestler who went up against a strong man to see who could crush the most juice out of some oranges. And I got to sit next to the half-naked sumo wrestler after he won the challenge. Next up was a kid named Amir who had to compete against the sea lion to see who could catch the most food in their mouths thrown from four stories up. The sea lion, of course, won. I don't even think that I've actually seen a sea lion in real life before. The next challenge was to see who can make the longest consecutive noise without taking a breath. And then in the last challenge, two contestants try to break 10 panes of glass by throwing a baseball at them. So now here's the big moment. All six individual challenges are over, and there are six victorious winners from each one of them. But there is still one last battle to be fought. So you remember at the beginning, whenever the audience has to vote on which of two contestants actually goes up to compete against the main challenger. Well, now the audience votes again, but this time they vote on all six individual challenges. And whichever one wins the audience vote, that challenge has to be performed again, except this time the winner would have to compete against the contestant who was originally voted out. Meaning if the audience voted for the Knife Game song to go again, I would have to compete against Miriam instead of Simon. And so the audience voted. And the Knife Game song won. So once again, after six long hours, I would have to go up and fight for victory. The victory of being crowned unbeatable at the Knife Game song, and the victory of a cash prize of 50,000 euros. Needless to say, the pressure was on. The next clip starts near the end of my turn, so you can only see the last little portion of my run. But this is the finale, so please, ladies and gentlemen, enjoy. 